Hey guys, I want to introduce y'all to Guppy 3 Drive. It's a new firmware that's come out. Um, it's been out for about a year, but it's just being released to the public now. Um, adds a lot of features to standard Guppy Drive. Uh, gives you a setting for auto lock modes so they won't power over 30% for the kids, which is a feature on the Bistro. Uh, also gives you double tap features like H17F uh, is programmed directly through what group you decide where it will have double click feature or not and also has a working temperature sensor that is adjustable as far as what temperature you want it to cut back at. It still has a turbo timer involved if you want to set that if you use the turbo timer more. Um, I seem to like the temperature sensor a little better because handing to kids, that kind of thing, um, you can get more reliability as far as cutting back at a certain temperature and it not hurting a kid, that kind of thing, versus a time if it's already hot and then it runs real hot on turbo timer. Um, it's pretty simple to work. Um, there's, there's just one extra click session that you go through. So instead of clicking eight times and getting into the program and then clicking the group that you would have normally on Guppy Drive that you preferred, you're going to click 10 times to enter programming. Then you'll click a second number, which will be the deck number. Um, in this case, what it's showing is 10, which is the temperature. The temperature deck is 10, so you would hit 10 clicks wait for it to pulse, hit 10 clicks, wait for it to pulse, and then program in the temperature you want. Say at 150 degrees, you would put in seven clicks. And then it would be set for 150 degrees temperature set, uh, temperature cutback, sorry. Um, also has a turbo timer set the same way. Um, it's in deck 10. I mean, a deck 12, so you wouldn't have to click 30 times to get into the turbo timer, just 10. Then it turns on the bright, and you set your time. There's several different decks in here. Um, one is the simplest, deck one. Has a, just a couple of different settings for those that don't like a lot. The lock mode group for kids, if you need to let the kids use a lot, doesn't power over 30%. Some general user modes, which are just two or three settings. You get the Goldilocks, which every one of them has a Firefly mode. Um, one of them has a double click for 100. One of them has memory. Then you got two precision levels. Those for the guys that like to use a lot of low powered light for easing around the night at house at night, not disturbing the family, that kind of thing. And a tactical mode for law enforcement or security guards, or if you'd like to use your own light for defense, uh, like some of us do. Um, there's also a disco or bicycle mode that you can program as well. This is a light I've been testing with the driver this week to see how I like it. I'm just gonna show you one time how to get into programming. It's just like any other guppy drive. I'm gonna set it as uh, deck seven, program seven, it's one of my favorites. So we're gonna go in 10 clicks. That's your first step of programming. Then you enter seven for deck. That's your second one, and you enter seven more. Then you're set. And it'll go through the modes and your double tap would go to a strobe. And it's just that easy to set. There's not a lot of trouble to set this. Um, it's a lot simpler than setting an H17F for most people. And I think it's gonna be a, a real nice addition to be able to have a working temperature sensor in our lights now. I hope this helps y'all and thank y'all for hanging in there and watching my video.